Hey everybody, Jace Allen here. Welcome back to the Guitar Dungeon. I know it's been a while. It's good to be back. And today I'm playing Elix. Stick around. So I'm getting back into reviewing some guitars, playing some guitars. And a good friend of mine, Tony Shipakasi in Harbor Beach, Michigan, has his own uh, guitar store, uh, music store, it's sort of guitar uh, focused. And uh, he's a young kid and uh, he's <laughs> really ambitious and he's he's got his own music store. I mean, what, you know, early 20s uh, kid has his, well, I call him a kid because I'm, you know, I'm old. <laughs> so it's no, it's no disrespect to him. It's just, you know, he's a kid, but you know, he's, he's really ambitious. He's making it happen. And so, uh, the, he's a dealer for authorized dealer for these licks guitars. Uh, these are pretty inexpensive sort of Chinese made, uh, knockoffs of Les Pauls and, uh, uh, they have strats and telecasters and I was, I've been seeing these on Amazon. I think they were selling for about $229 or whatever. And that's what Tony was listing them for in his store. Uh, and he had, the nice thing about it is he had them in stock. So you could go look at it and play it. Uh, kind of like to feel a guitar and play it before I buy it. But, you know, I buy a bunch of stuff online and I know other people do too. And sometimes it's kind of frustrating because you buy a guitar online and you get it and it's not really great. So I was able to go to his store and uh, play this. And so uh, I bought it, uh, pretty happy with it. Uh, this is, the brand is Lix. I believe that's how you say it, L-Y-X, Lix, like guitar Lix. Uh, and it, this thing is really well made for a sort of a cheap Chinese knockoff. Uh, I think it's mahogany. It's pretty darn heavy uh so it's not basswood that they put a maple top on and then you know whatever it's it's i think it's definitely mahogany uh it's really pretty uh the back is just sort of clear coated the top is the gold gold top sparkle and you can see it's the actual carved top um you know it's got all the standard les paul style hardware on it uh the fingerboard, I think, is rosewood. It almost looks like ebony because it's really dark. Usually rosewood has got a little bit of color to it, unless they dyed it. It might be some other hardwood that they dyed because that's sort of a popular thing to do is to take a cheaper wood and to dye it or paint it black or dark. Um, so, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. It's hard to say on that. Uh, the inlays are uh, mother of pearl. They might be they might be synthetic, uh, but they're pretty well done. Um, really tight. You know, there's not a huge gap. Some some cheap guitars you get a, you get where the CNC machine started and stopped. You know, the bit is around almost like a drill bit, and so where it starts and stops sometimes on the inlays you'll get a round a little sort of round uh void there and then they'll fill it with glue or whatever but these are really nice tight uh it's, the neck is bound which is kind of cool uh the top is bound uh just a cream binding it's very nicely done uh let's see what else can i say pick guard headstock is Pretty nice it's the front is painted with their logo on it it's, everything's clear coated i like the old style butterbean tuners if you've watched my channel for any length of time you know i'm a big fan of the butterbean tuners those old style tuners on both electric and acoustic guitars uh so enough talk let's play it Let me show you what I'm doing. I'm running through Reaper. I've recently become a huge fan of Reaper. I was using Pro Tools, and Pro Tools has got the monthly uh, subscription.
thing going on. And, uh, you know, I don't, I'm not a professional, uh, you know, studio. So paying that, I think it's, I don't know, $30, $40 a month now uh, for, you know, you got to make a commitment for a year, I think. Or if you don't do the year commitment, then it's even more per month. Yeah, whatever. It's, it's, you know, I'm just doing this for fun. I want to make good music. Um, Reaper is an amazing DAW. Not to get off on a tangent here, but I, I'll probably do a video on, on Reaper. So anyway, I'm coming into my Universal Audio Volt. Uh, I've got a warm drive pedal down here for distortion. I'm um, going through the CLA guitar uh, plug-in. And uh, I've got the delay and the stereo width turned off. Got a little bit of reverb on it. And that's in the rhythm three-way switch. Uh, so that's set to rhythm. Uh, it's got two humbuckers on it. Uh, they sound pretty good for uh, sort of the cheaper guitars. Uh, they definitely could stand uh, to be upgraded, but I think they sound pretty good. So right out of the box. That's the middle position. Uh, treble. All right, let's kick some drive. This is the Warm Audio Warm Drive pedal. Uh, I'm going to do a review on that soon, too. Okay, a few notes that I'd like to point out. Uh, first of all, because of its weight, uh, this guitar is a little, little off balance when it's sitting on, sitting on my lap here. It really wants to dip, uh, so it's definitely a heavy chunk of wood. Uh, I had a Les Paul, actual Gibson Les Paul studio. Uh, guitar, I think it was from 2018, and it was the one with the, uh, I think it was mahogany, but it had open pour finish on it, and they actually chambered the body out uh, to make it lighter, and uh, a guitar like this could definitely benefit from something like that. It's, it's really heavy. Uh, I've had guitars that were neck heavy, that pulled down, that's what happens when you get a really light wood that they use, uh, like basswood. Basswood is notorious for being super light, and, and then they'll put a maple neck on it, and so then you'll get that going on. So I'm assuming that this one is going to be real balanced uh, when it's on a strap, you know, especially if you're the get kind of get player that likes to play with your guitar way down low. I prefer mine kind of up up in this neighborhood here, almost like jazz, jazz guys. I don't know, I could just, I could reach everything better that way. But anyway, whatever your style is, I'm sure it'll set really nice uh, with a strap. But I'm surprised that it doesn't, see most guitars that I play, it almost feels like the, the cutout, like the body cutout should be back a little bit because it just doesn't quite balance. Uh, another thing, the frets on this aren't super tall. They're pretty wide. Um, one thing I notice about, uh, I don't know what it is about Les Paul, it just seems to be the Les Paul model, the Les Paul style guitars that I've played, both real Gibson and 
knockoff guitars is that they use these pretty tall frets and pretty pretty big frets chunky frets and so what happens is is when you when you fret a chord it'll actually go out of tune because you're pressing down and it's it's stretching this string out and so it'll it'll go out of tune so really you don't need to apply on a ton of pressure on so if you're used to acoustic or guitars that are a little harder to play and you really you really jam on them <laughs> with your hands then you're going to find a guitar like this is actually will actually go out of tune quite a bit if you're aggressive <laughs> It's actually a lot easier to play almost but if you're sort of already trained yourself to press really super hard uh, you don't really have to on these uh, again the pickups sound pretty good um, not sure what else I can say about it other than it's gorgeous the gold top is really nice uh, all the hardware looks like it's in uh, really good quality uh, the electronics seem to be really good a uh, little bit of scratchiness there hear that but anyway uh knobs are all pretty solid uh like i said it might benefit from uh pickup upgrade so <laughs> Les Paul style guitar, not an actual Les Paul, made in China. Uh, you can get these from my friend Tony yeah, if you'd like to help support his small business rather than supporting uh, Jeff Bezos, who doesn't need any more money. But whatever. You can uh, find a link in the description and I will put uh, the complete specs for this guitar also in the description. And it's good to be back, uh, finally back in the studio. I've got the kittens out here. Uh, they're now upstairs, uh, they're just about weaned. So uh, back in the studio, and I'm finally feeling 100% better uh, from what I was when I had the flu. So I'm going to start getting back into uh, making the videos again. And uh, hopefully I can kind of get my studio finished up, get these walls painted so they don't look like a cabin in the woods. Anyway, I appreciate everybody for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.